EGTRB Math Statistics 2 2011-2012 year like at a questions and other no answers. First question the average number of customers who appear at the certain bank per minute is 2. Then the probability that during a given minute no customer appears that is p of 0 is so you know the answers patina option a e option b e power minus 1 option c e power minus 2 option c e power 2 it on the Poisson distribution Poisson distribution the general formula p of capital x is equal to small x that is equal to e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial in the lambda having a mean so in the formula the average number of customers average number mean number same now per minute is 2 and put to the ground that is lambda equal to 2 small x is equal to 0 no customer so they can in the Python distribution formula, la, lambda is 2, x is 0, no substitute for well, That is p of x is equal to 0, that is equal to e power minus 2, 2 power 0 by 0 factorial. Well, that is equal to e power minus 2, 2 power 0, I don't answer is 1, by 0 factorial, I don't answer 1 down. But p of x is equal to 0 equal to e power minus 2. So option c is the real answer. The answer is option c e power minus 2. Next question f statistic is given by variance within samples by variance between samples. Option B, Patina, variance between samples by variance within samples. Option C, variance within samples. Option D, variance between samples. So, you can answer is option B, variance between samples divided by variance within samples. Next question, variance of the multinomial distribution is option A, n p i into 1 minus p i, option B, n p i, option C, p i into 1 minus p i, option D, n into 1 minus p i. The multinomial distribution of the mean formula, mean equal to n into p i. Multinomial distribution would be a variance for the n into p i into q i. So p i answer you q i answer you add for the answer is 1. But q i i every other than 1 minus p i in every other. So for variance equal to n into p i the q i give the 1 minus p i. But the variance answer is n into p i into 1 minus p i. So, option A is the real answer. The answer is option A n p i into 1 minus p i. Next question the expected value of the sample mean in random sampling is the population mean. Option A, if sample size equal to 10. Option B, if sample size greater than 10. Option C, irrespective of sample size. Option D, if sample size less than 10. So, you are going to answer is option C. 
irrespective of sample size. Next question, let sigma be the standard deviation of a population and n the sample size, the standard error of sample mean is sigma by n, sigma square by n, sigma by root 10, sigma square by root 10. So, either of the answer is option C sigma by root n. That is sigma is the standard deviation, n is the sample size. Next question, a sample is said to be a small sample if its sample size n is less than 100, less than 10, equal to 30, less than 30. The only answer is action D less than 30. Or a sample on the small sample are known as the node value on the 30 order less than I know. Next question for applying chi square test, the expected frequency of any item should be greater than or equal to 5, equal to 5 equal to 0, less than 5. So, the answer is option A, greater than or equal to 5. Next question, Pascal's distribution, P of x is equal to minus k c x, p power k into minus q the whole power x, where x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc becomes a negative binomial distribution if k is greater than 0, k need not be an integer. Option b, k less than 0. Option c, k equal to 0. Option d, k is an integer. So, your answer is option a, k is greater than or equal to 0 and k need not be an integer. Next question, in a normal distribution, the ratio of quartile deviation is to mean deviation is to standard deviation is. Option A, 10 is to 10 is to 15. Option B, 10 is to 12 is to 15. Option C, 12 is to 12 is to 15. Option D, 10 is to 15 is to 12. So, quartal deviation QD equal to 5 by 6 into mean deviation which is equal to 2 by 3 into standard deviation. Apo quartal deviation equal to 5 by 6 mean deviation is equal to quartal deviation equal to 2 by 3 standard deviation. In the relation on the empirical relation. That is the quartal deviation, mean deviation, standard deviation. The third relation is the empirical relation. Now, the third deviation is the deviation. Now, the third is standard deviation. The quartal deviation, mean deviation, standard deviation, which is equal to. Now, quartal deviation is standard deviation. 2 by 3 standard deviation. East. The mean deviation is standard deviation. Now, if you have equal to this, you can write the 5 by 6 at the right side. Now, 6 is equal to 2, 5 is equal to 3. Now, 12 by 5 is equal to 15 standard deviation. Now, the quartal deviation is standard deviation. The mean deviation is standard deviation. Now, the standard deviation is equal to this. So, total is the ratio of 15 is equal to 15 into 2 by 3 standard deviation is to 15 into 12 by 15 standard deviation 
is the 15 standard deviation 1 3 are 3 5 3 are 15 in the 15 and the 15 are cancel out so 5 2 are 10 10 standard deviation 12 standard deviation 15 standard deviation total standard deviation ala divide pantamna common ah 10 is the 12 is the 15 appa quarter deviation mean deviation standard deviation the moonthukulla relation the moonthukulla ratio pathina 10 is to 12 is to 15 the answer is option b 10 is to 12 is to 15 next question if x is a negative stochastic variable with mean x bar then p of x less than x bar into t square is equal to 0 less than 1 minus 1 by t square greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by t square 1 minus 1 by t square so the only answer is option c greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by t square